Today we're going to focus on a principle that is so important to your spiritual development as well as to your material growth. And that has to do with the matter that you must believe. Yes, truly to believe is the makes the possible, makes possible the impossible, you see. So let's focus on this matter of you've got to believe. Let's open this healing service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Yes, true enough, you know, many times the matters that we would like to have changed in our lives or to go where you want to go in your life seemingly just doesn't happen. And oftentimes it has to do with the fact that perhaps you're not believing strongly enough. You see, you've got to believe. Let's have a few readings on this matter. A poem. Believe it. Believe it. Have faith you are able to achieve, no matter how long the road, nor how complicated or hard the task may be. Whatever you set your mind and heart to, that you can in the long run eventually surely do. Believe it. Yes, I will survive. I'm going to keep on staying alive. And with God's help, surely I will thrive with soul on my side. Believe it. I've made up my mind about it. And not for a moment will I doubt it. No matter what the world may say, do or say, ain't nothing and nobody stopping me. No matter, no how, no way. Believe it to be victorious. Yes, indeed. True enough. You must believe. Believe that you are able. Believe that you are capable and you have this belief from within. Now let's have a few readings from the scriptures from this matter. On this matter here we have from Hebrews. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is, faith is the essence, the spiritual essence that makes things happen. Faith is the belief. To believe is to have faith. And that spiritual essence is the substance that brings about the realization or the demonstration. So we have continue here. Through faith, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were fashioned, framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So you see, truly enough, that that faith with that belief, believing with conviction, sincere conviction, makes bring about the realization of the desire. Now, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see, even in the matter of your personal relationship with God, your personal relationship with Jesus, your personal relationship with Allah, Jah, Yahweh, Brahman, the creative power, the quantum, whatever. You must first believe. That is the requirement. That's the first believing. For without faith, 
And then when you have that believing, then the action comes. When you have belief first, you believe. And then by believing, bring forth the action, the works, that bring about the demonstration. Now we have that because of this faith, who through faith, those believers, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of the fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant and fight, that is, because they believed, had believed that they would triumph and believe that they would overcome and believe that even in, the sp in spite of the fiery furnace or the roaring lion, that those appearances would not overcome them, would not destroy them. So you see, women receive their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. So you see, those all those saints who believed, then they found their salvation. Now we have here from Matthew. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered, and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing upon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth. And presently the fig tree withered away. So it is that whatever that you command, whatever that you state, whatever you put out to, and speak the word of power. When you speak the word of power, then you have to have to believe that what you conceive, that you will achieve, and you will receive by the word of power that you speak, having to do with belief. Now we have again from Matthew. And when he was coming to the house, the blind man came to him, and Jesus says unto him, Believe you that I am able to do this? And the man said, Yea, Lord, I believe. And so he believed because the blind man believed that the healing would happen, that he would be given his sight. So he was restored his vision. There were instances in the word that in certain towns and places that Jesus went to that even he did not bring forth healing for the people or demonstration because there was a lack of belief. They didn't believe that he was able to. And that is the requirement. God requires of you, believer, to believe in the power to believe in what good that you desire, that it shall come to pass. Now we have here from Second Chronicles, and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehosha fat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, Believe in the Lord, your God, so shall you be established.